witchlings. Welcome back to my channel. I have a very tiny cup of coffee. And today, um, I'm doing a little mini vlog. Hi, Benji. Oh, goodness. I'm doing a little mini vlog. I want to do, like, ah, an abundance spell with Stanthony, a.k.a. St. Anthony. The idea, oh, geez, the plants, is to use this. This is our things bowl. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't know if anyone else has a things bowl, but it has a bunch of stuff in it. Like wallet, keys, poop bags, mask. And um, there's also some coins in here. <laughs> These were part of my old money bowl, but we always put like all of our stuff in it. When we come home, we drop in keys, wallet, etc. And I feel like this, would be beneficial to become a money bowl because both of our wallets are in it at like all times when we're home. I figured I'd film the process and kind of go through it. This is a wooden bowl. We got it at, there's a tag on here still. We got it at the thrift store. So I may have to approach this differently than what I would do with like money bowl with my other money bowl. But I am gonna get some, some of the stuff I had in my past money bowl and see what I can do. With this bad boy. I am I am gonna petition St. Anthony for this and I'll talk through the process as well. But give me one second because I gotta go to the bathroom and the dog's gotta go to the bathroom. So whoop. Alright, I'm back. This is my bag of things from my previous money bowl. Okay, we got some prosperity oil, money drawing oil that I made. I have $15. I have cash. I realize I had that. Uh, what else is in here? Oh, jeez. Okay, so we got some crystals. Someone's name. A bunch of coins. A bone. A lot of black tourmaline. I do think that malachite will be good to have in here, but I have to think through. This is a giant smoky quartz. I love that for me. I have to think through how I'm going to charge this bowl and which crystals to put in it. I'm definitely putting all of these coins that were previously in the money bowl in there. I am not gonna do herbs, I don't think. There's a lot of dirt in the bottom of this. Do I need to cleanse this? Probably. I'm gonna smoke cleanse. Keep on flicking. Nice. So we're gonna start off with a smoke cleanse here. I think this is dragon's blood incense. That seems good. Now I gotta put this out somewhere. Plant. Stick it in a plant. So this is all cleansed. Usually I would use some sort of water to cleanse this because it's wood. I don't think that's gonna be beneficial. Let me see if I can get this tag off. I'm gonna use some prosperity oil on the bottom. I think I'm just gonna anoint four corners. It is a one, cross, 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 cross. And this is on the bottom. I'm not putting it in the bowl because I don't want whatever whatever's in the bowl to have oil on it. So I'm gonna go around to the rim with just the extra prosperity oil. I'm gonna use a bit of the money drawing oil I made. It smells like cinnamon and there's already enough on the fork. So just anointing the rim. Not too much. As I know, like I said, I don't want things to get like oily. All right. What is this? Is this a Canadian dollar? Why was this in my money bowl? So a lot of these coins that were in there, these were already in the money bowl. And this, these were blessed coins I used for my Rose of Jericho. We got some cash. I think some quartz crystals in here because I don't want to like the moss agate because I don't want to go too crazy with the crystals, especially when like 
keys are going in here and everything. I have to start, I know I have to start a prayer to Mr. Stanthony, but I'm gonna do a nice little blessing on these dollars. There we go. So now we have anointed things in here. Um, we already have like wallets and stuff with our identification on it. So the hope is that having a wallet in this prosperity abundance bowl will work to bring in long-term prosperity. These wallet doggy bags. Now is the kind of time where I, I can't put something like my money oil in there. So I may create a secondary like money altar to feed this with a, I am oily, with a St. Anthony candle. I think that the best place for the rest of the objects from my money bowl to go is on my desk because that is where I work and get my things done. Um, and I also, you know, start in a prayer. So now I have to start a novena to St. Anthony for an assistance with the money bowl. How am I drinking so much water? It's also really great to, you can do this with a plant to like have a plant grow and affect your finances. Now I have a money bowl, set up a separate altar, start a prayer to St. Anthony. And it, I think it, this stuff usually goes well. Um, we're still in the cycle that I would have preferred to do this spell. I wanted to start it on the new moon, but I didn't end up having the energy to start it on the new moon. So I'm just gonna continue uh, this, because I think it's the waxing cycle right now, so it's something growing. I will do my novena. I don't know when the full moon is. I hope it's nine days away. Moon cycle, we're halfway there. But anyways, it's a good time. I like doing money spells and abundance spells on the new moon or in the waning waxing, waxing phase towards the full moon to kind of bring in abundance and fill in that kind of, like, it, it's like something growing, getting larger. November 28th is the full moon. That was two days ago. So my planning for this didn't go as planned, <laughs> but I'm gonna do a novena to St. Anthony anyway, and we're gonna go from there. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this mini vlog of my abundance spell with Stanthony. I hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna watch some of my other videos, click the subscribe button. Why is this plant falling over? Can I stake this with a piece of incense? There we go. That did nothing. That's a little better. A little better. All right. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Remember to drink water and have an amazing rest of your day. See ya, te benedetti.